Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, hack should here from HM Cyber Academy, hope you're doing good. So in the previous lab we have solved this uh, CLTE variant uh, which gives a differential response and uh, now in this lab let us solve this uh, TECL, okay. So this also has a differential response, uh, it is basically the same. So we have to trigger the 404 uh, error page, uh, sorry this is that particular lab. Let me open it. This lab involves a front-end server and back-end server and the back-end server does not support chunk encoding. That means it, the back-end server supports the content length. Alright. So to solve the lab, smuggle a request to the back-end server so that the subsequent request of slash triggers a 404 not found response. So you already know right from the previous lab if you have saw, seen the previous lab you would have understand what is the 404 so whenever we trigger a particular uh, uh, we ask the server for a particular uh, request in a uh, for a particular page or particular directory and if that directory doesn't exist in the server or the if that page doesn't exist in the server so it will give a 404 uh, response not found response okay so we want to trigger that kind of one and there is nothing called 404 within the server uh, as we al already checked in the previous lab let me open the lab in the new tab all right so let us directly give that 404 here 404 and let us see if it does uh, yeah it's not there so there is nothing called 404 here go back and uh, what all we need is we need that particular request this one particular attendance not the previous one but this is the one or um, okay let me do one thing let me click on home and here we have a fresh request just take this to the repeater and uh, hit on send just check yeah it's working fine so now the point is that uh, go here and change this to http1 and it got changed and next right click and change request method so that we get this content uh, type and content length right here itself okay so now this particular lab is about uh, tl and ce that means the front end server is accepting transfer encoding okay so let us uh, take care of the front end server first hit on enter and put transfer encoding okay and uh, chunk this is a proper value for this and now uh, so we need to give a chunk of data here let me give something called uh, 44 okay so this is the uh, value that i want to give uh, i mean uh, this is the number of bytes uh, basically that we have to give and we will edit this this is not the actual size but uh, let's edit this at last okay and uh, we need to ask for a get request okay or we we can give a post request as well but uh, get request is more than enough all right so just give this get and slash 404 and space http slash 1.1 hit enter and content sorry so let me copy these two things so we want these two things the content length and the content type right here remove these things and paste it here and we want to give this content length as as maximum as possible let me give 20 and we want to give some content just aaa that's enough and we wanted to terminate this particular request right i mean this particular chunk of data right here so zero is the one and at last we already have this uh, um, slash ends like let's say if i put the request like this so now we have it converted okay so we have slash and slash and slash or slash or here okay so this is going to uh, terminate it all right so now the point is like we need to update this and uh, i already know that the length of this particular chunk uh, is uh, 83 okay so i have already tried uh, sorry not 83 it is 93 okay so it's 93 and uh, this is uh, 5d so go to the repeater and place it over here 5 d all right 
and now uh, what else we have to do now uh, we need to update the content length so that uh, the backend server has to consider only till here and it is 4 all right and make sure the update content length is turned off and uh, yeah hit on send again hit on send and we have the 404 uh, not found error so basically now what is happening is that the front end server is taking the whole request to the back end server okay the whole request to the back end server but the what is this back end server considering it is considering the content length okay it is only considering the content length so back end server is considering the request only till here all right so only till here and this will be the next request okay so the next request in a sense when we are sending one more request and here it says content length as 20 so now what is happening it is expecting the next request to join here so now what will happen this particular uh, part or this particular request is sent again and this will be going and sitting behind this place okay i'll show you like how it is happening okay so give me a second just copy the whole part copy and go here control a delete control v and again control v all right now if you can see the first request is i mean the front end server is considering the whole request till here okay uh, just a second let me give one more enter all right till here and now what is happening the backend server is considering the content length so it is only considering this four number and the first for the backend server this is only one request this is one request and this is the next request and for this next request we are sending the request twice right so the second request will be going and sitting behind this one so the first request or the remaining data will be sitting on the head of the second request all right so now the smuggled request is this part and now if you can see for the smuggled request we have something called 404 and there is a guest get request and this is how okay we are able to get the 404 error all right then congratulations oh uh, i think i have given a word that i am going to explain this particular part right where is this so yeah this is the one uh, tlce uh, okay the lab is uh, this lab is also the tlce only okay so now what are we doing is that let me copy the whole part just like this just copy and um, let me paste it over here okay so i'm pasting it over here let me remove this the rest of the things all right so now uh, the um, let me go back to this browser and here if you can see the content length is six let me update this content length as the same as this i don't want to finger in within this okay so now what is happening the tlce so the content uh, sorry the transfer encoding is considered by the front end server so the front end server uh, it says chunked and uh, here we have directly zero and where uh, if we provide the zero directly so this means that chunk part is and is like uh, terminating right here itself that means the front end server that means the front end server is considering only till here and this won't be considered as the uh, request and now when this goes to the back end server the back end server is considering the content length and the content length is specified as 6 and here we don't have those 6 letters here right so uh, I, I think this is not in uh, this is enough yeah we don't have the six uh, uh, length here and uh, only this part is going to the backend server and now we have zero here so backend server is expecting one more request to come and sit okay so let me hit on send and now if you can see there is some response delay because the backend server is expecting one more request to sit right here okay and if you can see it says communication timeout so this is because of the backend server because the backend server is expecting one more request to come here and sit all right anyway that's it about this particular uh, uh, 
time technique and response uh, differential response uh, uh, technique okay so that's all for today and uh, yeah congratulations i think we have solved the lab yeah congratulations you have solved the lab and have a great day bye bye